Well, a new featured artist at the Mather Arts and Cultural Center has traveled the world studying her craft. Painter and creator of the comic Life of Lucas, Sabrina Abbott joins us live from the center, which was short is MAC, M-A-C-C. -C. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, Hi, thank you. Thanks for having me on. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, let's talk about your journey. You, you've been traveling the world for art. Tell us a little bit about where you, where you went. Um, let's see, I've lived in uh, Florence, Italy and Paris, France, but I've traveled sort of all over the place. I've, uh, I lived in Florence, Alabama and Paris, Texas, I visited one time. So I feel like we're on the same level with our art <laughs> stuff here. How would you describe your artwork? <laughs> Um, I would describe my artwork as perceptionist art. Um, it's actually a movement I created and that other artists have joined in on. Oh. And it's about finding um, objects that have uh, been discarded or that are viewed in a sort of stereotypical way and reimagining um, that item Ooh, in a non-stereotypical way. I dig it. I oh, dig look it. Look at that. <laughs> so what is the life of Lucas? Um, the Life of Lucas is a comic strip I actually created in elementary school and got published in high school. Get wow, out. look at that. We're talking to someone famous. I know. This is, this is great. This is great. Oh, we're going to look at the art of Lucas right here. Oh, here it is. High school days. I remember those. I remember those. Do you still do uh, the Lucas stuff? <laughs> Uh, I don't. I did it for five years, but uh -huh. after I won an international art competition in Europe, I decided to focus on my painting career. Um, it, comicing takes a lot of time, but so does painting. So yeah, yeah, it does. It's it does. kind of hard to do both. You mentioned that other artists are joining in on what you're doing here. So what do you mean by that? Um, I mean, there are other artists, um, particularly in Europe, who are okay. doing sort of um, a similar idea. Um, based on what they've seen me do. Sort of like, um, you know how the Impressionists, there are multiple Impressionists. Okay. So there's multiple like artists who are perceptionists as well. I see that you have a lot of candy wrappers. Yeah, do you have a sweet tooth? I'm guessing you have a sweet tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, all my work, the wrappers and everything, is generally things I collect from either the city streets or the park. I even consider it part of my artwork that I sort of clean up the environment around me by That's picking great. up litter. That's great. I love it. Yeah. Okay, so obviously oh. your art for sale, yes, right now? I'm sorry, what? Is your art for sale? Oh, yes, it is. There you go. Okay, and people can view it here. And over we at have... The, at Mac. Go ahead, go. Oh, what are we going to say? Yes. Oh, we have an artist talk, or I'm doing an artist talk also um, this Thursday at 6 p.m. So if anyone wants to come hear me talk a little bit more about my life and the artwork or anything, they are more than welcome. All and right. can we come help you clean up stuff? <laughs> I feel like that would be kind of fun. We walk around. Maybe. No, that's art. That's not garbage. That's mm -hmm. art. That's art. You're doing Thank a great you. thing there. Yeah, that's right. really cool. Thank you so much for Mill joining us. Mill Station Art and Cultural Center. There you go. Very cool. Yes, thank you. And thank you to Cheryl Gleason and the Mac for this opportunity. Yeah, And thank course. you, you guys, for having me on. You're welcome. Yes, yes. I'm fascinated thank you. by this one.